The number of years we're expected to live keeps rising. In the future, we'll live to be 150, even 200 years old. But what's the point of living so long if my body gets old and can't even function? Will there be a way to replace it? And what about terminal diseases? Will they be terminated? What will medicine here in Israel be like in the future? Doctor, I think I need a second opinion. We have witnessed a major revolution which has seen significant changes in the medical profession. The patients have changed. They are more involved in their treatment, more prone to chronic diseases, and more often than not are treated within their own communities by their primary physicians. Today, doctors are more informed, treatments are more sophisticated, and are tailored to the patient, not only to the disease. However, the diseases, for the most part, have remained the same. As the technology continues to advance, a person will be able to know at a very early stage about the diseases he is prone to, as well as how to prevent them. Monitoring systems will keep the patient informed about his condition, as well as prescribe him suitable medication tailored to his specific genetic profile. Under the assumption that all is foreseen in the genes and free will is given in prevention, doctors will have to apply their practical knowledge in research. This will reduce the amount of time between discoveries in the lab and real-time implementation at the patient's bedside. There will be a greater emphasis placed on the patient's genetic sequence, and treating physicians will have to know how to use this information to carry out personalized medicine. They will also have to be proficient in robotics, physics, and math. 70 years ago, we had no idea what DNA even looked like. Today, we can engineer it for agricultural and research purposes. We're at the threshold of a medical revolution. The futuristic kind of preventative medicine is genetic engineering, which over time will become increasingly common. People will receive vaccinations for diabetes, cancer, and Alzheimer's. Although I'm referring to this as a vaccination, what it actually is, is genetic code alteration. Whoever chooses may get the genetically altered and hereditary version, thus automatically vaccinating their future children. It may even be part of the state's subsidized health plan. The state will determine that diabetes or a certain kind of cancer is an epidemic. And poof, the chance of becoming susceptible to these serious illnesses will plummet. It will also improve our quality of life significantly and enable us to live much longer. So how long will we live? to 150, 200, and even longer down the road. Imagine if you knew that you would live to be 500 years old. How would you perceive your time on Earth? Would you more readily jaywalk from time to time? Would you still travel to the not-so-safe Sinai Desert? Would you risk bungee jumping? Remember that it would be these types of activities, rather than illness, that would be potentially fatal. But everyone will be so old. Though, only age-wise, since we will soon be able to create human blood and grow skin and tissue from stem cells and synthetic materials. In a world where there is no shortage of vital organs for transplantation, hospitals will behave more like auto-repair shops. A person will be able to replace their heart, kidneys, pancreas and skin with younger, even genetically enhanced models. And voila, a 150-year-young person. So, in the future, we won't go to the doctor's office anymore? Doctors will always play an important role, but in slightly different capacities. Nevertheless, I think patients will not be satisfied relying solely on artificial intelligence as a replacement for the doctors. Patients will always need physicians' human touch. There is no substitute for a doctor examining a patient and listening to his heart with a stethoscope. By doing so, he is also listening to his patient's heart and soul.